The shooting isn't the only focus for the area, but the need for businesses and jobs. CBS North Carolina reporter Madeline Wright looks at the effort to improve the area. Following the police shooting of 24-year-old Akil Dinkins, protesters are calling for justice. But they also want help for the community where the shooting took place. What happened with the guy over here the other night, they're trying to decarerize him by the type of person that he is, but look at the environment that he's going, living in, growing up in. Todd Moore, born and raised in southeast Raleigh, knows these streets well. He's trying to find a job, but he says no one will give him a chance because of his violent criminal convictions. If nobody's trying to put us to work, how is we going to work? We got kids, we got family we got to take care of, we got to do it the best way we know how. Former city councilor Eugene Weeks says many feel the area is being left behind as Raleigh as a whole thrives. And it's about time for the uh, city and other people to come forward to make sure that we get more economic development and, and things in our area. Weeks tells me it's hard to attract businesses to Southeast Raleigh. This Save A Lot food stores used to be a Kroger, and he says when Kroger closed down, it took two years to find another grocery store to take its place. Weeks says Southeast Raleigh is seeing progress. For example, the creation of a new $13 million health center, but there's still a lot more to be done. In Raleigh, Madeline Wright, CBS North Carolina. Meanwhile,